More than 16,000 people were reported as sex trafficking victims in our country in 2020. One look at this map shows how widespread the issue is. Vanessa Mashanya spoke to people who are dedicated to helping victims break the cycle. My trafficking started at a young age. I was in denial that I was a victim of trafficking. There's somebody that you've trusted or thought you could trust as a child would be the person who would ultimately end up damaging you. Of all the things that were taken from Yolanda, it was the loss of her power that hurt the most. For years, she was trafficked around the Midwest. She knew she wanted to get out, but didn't know how. I felt very trapped. Yolanda is sharing her story because she wants to let others know a better life is possible and that there are people who can help you attain it. Makes you feel so powerful to finally be able to step away and say, I'm never going back. I'm never going back because I don't have to. According to the National Human Trafficking Hotline, 16,658 victims called last year. Calls came from every state in the country. However, experts say due to how the industry preys on the silence of victims, this only represents a fraction of the problem. There's consistent evidence that it is way underreported. The State Department estimates that 15,000 to 50,000 people are forced into trafficking in the United States every year. The Crisis Resource Center is the first stop that people make when they come to AFG. Here in this building, the team at Detroit's Alternatives for Girls are using resources dedicated to helping those like you Yolanda, who don't know where to begin. From providing emergency shelter to clothes to job training, even daycare for children, the help someone needs to start a new life away from being trapped, the team says here, must be holistic and catered to the individual. However, they say the work should not stop with organizations like theirs. So we need community awareness because the more people are aware, the more people can be allies. Where do you want to go from here? Look at where you're at. And where you want to be? I still have dreams. I'm still working. Breaking out of trafficking is difficult and it's complicated, but as Yolanda testifies, there are people out there who can help and it's worth the wait to regain your power and your life. It wasn't everybody's choice to be out in the street. Somebody, some of us was just running from something or someone, you know. It's tough. The streets are tough. But what's your life worth to you? I'm Vanessa Mishania reporting. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this week for our look at crime in America. Join us next week for a topic everyone is feeling right now, inflation. Historically high prices are costing everyday Americans hundreds of extra dollars each month. We'll show you how people are adapting. Until then, from Austin, Texas, I'm Chris Stewart, and this is The Race.